So, just when you thought things can't get any worse, Dan Woodson has been thrown into the damn picture when it comes to everything going on with Kim Middleton. Instagram are also speaking out as well. We've got a lot to get into. Hey guys, that's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get into some royal mess because that is what is being delivered every single day at this damn point. But... Dan Wilson's name has been thrown back into the fold. Megyn Kelly is speaking out and basically exposing and confirming the fact that through her journalist relationships and understandings that Dan Wilson was the first individual who revealed this conversation in regards to an allegation of an affair between Rose Hanbury, Kate Middleton and Prince William and for the fact that, you know, um, Kate Middleton was fuming. Now let's cast our minds back to that story and what Kate Middleton wanted. Dan Woodson reported that Kate Middleton not only was fuming and was extremely angry with her longtime friend and that she no longer became friends with at that moment, but she also wanted to phase out Rose Henry from the royal family. This is what she wanted to do. Kate does not have that power, but she wanted to get rid of her and therefore tried to do so, which evidently echoes what she also tried to do to Meghan Markle. She wanted to phase her out. This came via Dan Wooten and has now resurfaced via Meghan Kelly who reconfirms yesterday in our conversation and basically exposes him for the fact that it was him who confirmed everything. It was him who erupted this story. It was him who started everything back in 2019, which I think we already know of anyways, but it's basically now been confirmed via the Meghan Kelly show. Instagram have come into the fold and have basically confirmed by covering up the official picture on the Kensington Palace Prince of the Prince of the Worlds Instagram account and has confirmed that it is altered. It is, you know, not real, not validated. And I think that it's embarrassing for Instagram to come forward and to do so, it just you know, really doesn't make any sense. Also via Fox News, um, it seems that Palace contacts, you know, via this journalist, he says, my Palace contacts have communicated with me about the princess, but haven't seen her because she's off duty to recover from a massive, massive abdominal surgery. Kinsey Schofield, host of the To Die for Daily podcast, says alleged to Fox News Digital via his palace contacts. The same way you and I would be sick, we wouldn't have employees stopping by our home when we recuperate. It isn't necessary. Nothing they are communicating about today requires a face-to-face -face conversation. There is a hierarchy within the palace. The Prince and Princess of Wales are incredibly private. They've always been, a, you know, it is their objective to allow Catherine time off until Easter, which is bizarre to me because didn't she have, you know, Filipino nurses? Didn't she have, um, three, you know, secretary individuals, wasn't Kay Middleton also hiring somebody, the private secretary? All of these people were part of Kay Middleton's camp, surrounding her, helping her. So for now, Palace contacts to be coming out and confirming, or, you know, confirming basically that nobody's been around her because she's been off duty and therefore they don't know what's going on with her. And, you know, I feel like to me, it's just filling in the potholes and trying to do, you know, save salvaging the lies. Because I feel like loads of these individuals have been lying about Kay Middleton in regards to why anybody around her has not seen her. Because these are the same people who are also reporting that there's nurses around her, that there's secretaries around her, that she's making moves, which the Spanish press all expose as fake, by the way. They've exposed as fake, but you can see how these stories contradict each other. Yesterday, she was distressed, but at the same time, it was also reported that she was upbeat and moving around. People are lying about Kate Middleton. This is what I'm basically trying to say in these reports, and they are lying about it, but which one is the lie? The one that is the lie that I believe is the ones where they're explaining that she's upbeat, explaining as to why nobody's around her, um, you know, explaining to her that suddenly there's Filipino nurses around her. All of this is lies. Her hiring secretaries lies, lies, lies because she is in a grave position of pain. And therefore they want to continue these lies that she's upbeat, that she's been seen. You know, recently GB News reported via health experts were giving exclusive news that she's been encouraged to keep fit and she's been seen running around. The girl has not been seen running around her village. Like this is what has been reported now. She's been seen running around. She's been seen by her, but they're all respecting her privacy. No, they're not because she's not been seen running around. The woman is somewhere where she's not allowed to move, not able to remove herself. Either she's doing it on purpose or because of a health complication, but she's not in a good position right now. All of, the, all of these stories coming out are lies. There are so many lies being printed over the past couple of days about her being upbeat and in a great position. If any of that were to be true, guys, they would be not they would not be posting a fake fucking photo. Sorry for swearing, but it just pisses me off that the majority of people are shocked and reacting to the edited picture of her instead of actually asking why they opted to release an edited picture. Why did the royal family choose to release an edited picture? Because Kate Middleton 
is not amongst us right now. She's, I don't know where the hell this woman is, but if she's not in a physical position to pose with her children, she is in great danger. Point blank, period. Sorry, I feel like I was dancing around in circles with this video. We got to the end, guys. We got there. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon.